Dr. Shannon Clark here. I am a double board certified OBGYN and maternal fetal medicine specialist. And we're going to discuss this article here out of the New England Journal of Medicine, prenatal cell-free DNA sequencing and the incidental detection of maternal cancer. Now the cell-free DNA uh, testing is also known as the NIPT or, that in, or the NIPS, and it's a form of prenatal genetic screening testing. Now this is an info infographic from ACOG. You could pause to read all of this, but just in summary, um, the cell-free DNA test is a blood test done on a pregnant individual. It can be done as early as 10 weeks, and it picks up DNA from the pregnancy that is circulating in maternal blood. The main things that it looks for are trisomies 18, uh, 13, and 21. 21 is Down syndrome. It can also look at the fetal sex, XX or XY. Sometimes though, when, when we get the results back from that test, it'll say something like low fetal fraction or it's a no call result. What does that mean? When we get that blood sample, we want it to have a high enough fetal fraction in order to get results. As the pregnancy progresses, that fetal fraction increases. That's why the earliest that it's recommended to be drawn is at 10 weeks. Now here are some things that can affect uh, the fetal fraction or the amount of the fetal fraction. Pause to read. If it comes back as a no call result, that means the laboratory tests are uninterpretable. And that means there is an increased risk of having a fetal chromosomal difference. You could pause to read this, but in short, if there is a no call result, it's recommended that the patient see a genetic counselor and a, a detailed ultrasound be done on the fetus, as well as an amniocentesis or another form of diagnostic testing be offered to the patient. Now back to this article. In this study, they performed cancer screening in pregnant or postpartum individuals who did not have any signs or symptoms of cancer, but received unusual clinical cell-free DNA sequencing results or results that were non-reportable, like um, a no-call result. They found that cancer was present in 52 of the 107 participants in the initial co cohort, because this is an ongoing study. Of the cancers that were found, lymphoma was the most commonly found, followed by colon cancer and breast cancer. And all these patients were completely without symptoms. In the United States, the current practice in these situations is to consider imaging on a case-by-case -case basis, depending on the patient's medical and family histories, results of a physical exam and laboratory test, and insurance coverage, of course. So, did you have the cell-free DNA test? Did you have some kind of uh, unusual result, like a no-call result or a low fetal fraction? What did your provider do and what was the outcome? Tell me in the comments.